everyone, my name is Stacy. Welcome to Life on Lindy. Today we're going to decorate my Christmas tree using feathers. We're also going to decorate my master bedroom and we're going to do it minimally for Christmas. I like to keep my decor simple. I overdid it I think when I decorated for fall. I really like to keep things simple. I've cleared off all the decor except for what has to stay. And that fan in the corner, it does have to stay. I sleep with that every night. This corner back by the TV stand, that's where I'll be putting a pencil tree and that's the one we'll be decorating with feathers. This is a small room. And this pencil tree, that's about all this room can handle. But I love having a Christmas tree in my room. I love the, the warm glow of the lights. It just makes everything feel so cozy. The things up here on top of the chest of drawers are some of the things that I'll be using. It's mostly neutral with a few touches of blue. I try to keep most of it neutral that way, I can interchange anything I want with it at any time. I've already put on fresh sheets. They're flannel and they're just great for winter time. They're so cozy. We're gonna make up the bed now, put the bedding on it. I have a fresh blanket. It's a brook linen blanket and it's really soft and fuzzy. And we're gonna be putting that on over the top of the top sheet. This blanket is huge. I think it's a king size. I think it was advertised as a queen king, but it's a whole lot bigger than our queen size bed. So I have to tuck it in and make sure it's not sticking out everywhere. But Dean's a blanket hog and he'll wrap up in it. And so this way I still get some blanket too. I think I got this comforter set. It's the comforter and two pillow shams. I think I got it from Bed Bath and Beyond. And I've had it a few years. And to find it, I just typed in uh, pin tuck comforters. And I think I, I asked for burlap or beige. But either one will probably bring you to this. It also came with an accent pillow, but I'm not using it right now. This little thing is called a pet wizard and it takes all of the animal fur off of really anything. I use it on the couch, the bedding, our clothes, whatever. We have two dogs and two cats and the fur gets real. I'm always amazed at the amount of hair that comes off in it.
this is Jax and Jet, and this is usually where you can find them when I have the window open or the blind. They like to soak up the sunshine that comes through this window. I kind of keep the same amount of things up here on top of these chests of drawers all the time. I don't like a lot of clutter up here. It's a dust catcher and it just makes it easier to keep it simple. I've been trying to find a place for these birch candles for at least a year and I finally found a use for them this time. I've had them in different places all over the house, but lately I haven't been able to find a spot for them. Most of the decor that I do have is interchangeable with any room in the house. And that's really the best way to do it because it's a money saver. Dean brought the Christmas tree in for me. We had it last year. We got it at, I think we got it year before last in January at Menards at an after Christmas clearance sale. I don't remember how much it was, but it didn't come in a box. And so we got an extra discount for that. So we put it in the Christmas building or it's, we just leave it assembled. So all I had to do was fluff out a few of the branches. It came pre-lit. So for now, the lights are all good on it. We're about to decorate it. So here we go. These two swans are gonna be my topper. I chose swans because from what I've read, they mate for life. It just seemed like the perfect thing. Swans are gonna go at the top. I won't be putting any ornaments on this tree. What I will be putting on it is this. These are feather boas and they're cut into strips because these were actually the centerpieces with a wine glass between them with a tea light. This was our centerpiece at our wedding. We didn't have flowers, we had feathers and so these have sentimental value to them. This is what the centerpieces look like. And I just make a snowy tree. And that's all that will be on there. And I'll put a white fluffy, kind of fluffy blanket throw on the bottom as a skirt. This is all I do. I just take the feathers and I just kind of weave them in. And I'll do this all over the tree. It makes a mess putting it together, but it's gorgeous when it's done. even tell you how many I used on this tree. I guess it just depends on how full you want it. I think overall I bought 10, maybe 10 feather boas for centerpieces, so there's at least 10 on here. And for reference, it's a seven foot pencil tree. And it just looks like snow is dripping off your tree. You just really can't go wrong with it. My only problem I had with it, one of my cats likes to pull them off at the bottom. Hopefully the dogs will leave it alone. Try to leave a few branches in between the feathers. I don't really decorate the back. There's no sense in it. It's in the corner. No one's going to see it. And it won't make it front heavy because they're really light. As a feather. I couldn't resist that one. I left this tree up until February 1st last year. It just felt like winter.
I always decorate my trees with the lights on so I can actually see where I need to put things. When this is finished, it's just going to be a white, icy glow. attention to where I put them because like I said I do want some of the lights and branches to be poking through. I'm almost weaving it in and out. It's one of the easiest trees I've ever done but I think I love this more than any other tree I've ever done. It's because of the sentimental value. I did this last year and I'll probably do it for many years. I do think I need to put some around the top at the back because that part does show. If you have a hard time getting them to stay where you want them, just sort of use your branches and twist it around them and that'll hold them in place. Sometimes when I have the fan on, it'll blow some of them loose and then I'll have to secure them. Put straws in the bottom of them so they would be more like picks. I'm gonna see if that works better. I used really sturdy straws, not disposable ones. One of them is even stainless steel. This method worked out really well. If you ever have anything that you want to put on your tree, just put a stick on it and make it a pick. Here I'm just adding another strand of feathers around the swans to give it a more finished look. Now I'm going to add the blanket beneath the tree and it's just going to look like a beautiful snowy winter blanket of fresh fallen snow beneath a tree. This is how it all turned out, simple and beautiful for Christmas and winter time. Having minimal decor makes it easier to keep things cleaned up and dusted, especially when you have pets.
Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing and leave me a comment. I love to interact with my followers. And also follow me at Life on Lindy with Stacy on Instagram. I put more of my day-to-day -day life there. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.